Hey y'all, Chuck here, Paige. Hey, today I want to talk about a topic uh, that keeps being brought up on my channel of uh, how come the, the, the street's very noisy this morning, so I apologize, but, um, and the doctor's full next door. Uh, I want to talk about uh, how to stay healthy. Actually, how do I stay healthy here in Thailand? <laughs> videos that show us eating a lot of food and yeah we do I love Thai food so I eat constantly all the time there's nowhere I can go in this town or anywhere in Thailand where somebody's not selling food that smells good or people are coming by your house selling stuff all the time so things that uh, I do to try to stay healthy uh, in Thailand but the first thing is um, I live in a stress-free environment um, I don't worry about things um, I don't have to try to pull an extra shift at work or work an extra day or pick up another job a second job uh, so I can keep up with my things, so I can get them repaired or, or have them replaced or upgraded or the latest fashion or impressing my friends or my family or my neighbors. I, I, I gave all those things up uh, when I left the United States and uh, I just took the stuff that I needed to... Uh, to make me happy in my life, which was very minimal, because the only thing that me and Paige really wanted to do is travel and see the world, and it doesn't require us to have a lot of things uh, to do that. So we figured out a way to, to do that, uh, to have a stress-free life. Uh, the second thing is the quality of the food. Um, you know, your body's kind of, your body's a machine, and uh, what you eat, uh, affects the way your your machine processes food so if you're eating nothing but fast food which is a lot of carbohydrates and uh, a lot of preservatives and sodium and stuff like that well your your body's gonna react to that so uh, here in Thailand there's an abundance of food all different kinds of food there's lots of food options uh, to me, everything here is fast food. I, we don't really cook at home. We just go to the market. Uh, there's a market usually open somewhere every day in every neighborhood in Thailand. And uh, you can get whatever you want. But most of the food here comes with a vegetable. Uh, you do need some kind of antioxidants to mix with proteins in order for your body to, to, uh, to be able to uh, digest it properly. So... Uh, uh, the fruit here, and th there's a ton of fruit. There's an abundance of all different kinds of fruit. Uh, a lot of really extremely healthy fruit that, that produce a lot of antioxidants. Um, the meat here is not, uh, they don't really jab it full of uh, proteins or, or chemicals or some kind of hormone uh, to make it grow fast or something to keep parasites up. They really don't do that here that much. 
Um, but uh, the, the meat here, if, you, uh, if you're eating it, it was just killed uh, the other night. Uh, nothing really gets frozen uh, that often to, uh, to resell. Everything's just killed as it's needed. Um, the, the fruit and the vegetables, you'll never see an airplane flying over spraying chemicals on stuff here. In our little local town in Isan, everything is pretty much grown in this area. Um, do they use pesticides? Maybe a little bit. The problem is, is that most of them can't afford the uh, extra cost of uh, what it takes to be able to control the insects. So they're constantly out in the field working their crops. Um, for the most part, there's no chemicals uh, in, 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 the, in the vegetables here. So that, that makes a huge difference on the quality of food. Um, you know, and there's no preservative, which has a lot of sodium. But also, uh, the culture here really is a light dinner. Um, I pretty much live like a Thai. Uh, I'm not saying that's what you have to do, but there's not a lot of options in the small town that I'm in. Uh, there is a KFC, which I don't like. Uh, the fresh chicken out here, uh, you can get fried chicken too, which is way better than KFC. Um, we eat a light dinner um, most of the time. <laughs> Sometimes I want to go sit by the water, have a couple beers, get some uh, seafood or, or, or some kind of Isan spicy food. Uh, which spicy food too is good, it helps you flush, you know. Uh, a lot, lot, lot of food in Isan is very spicy. But probably three or four times a week we eat nothing but salad and, and, uh, and some kind of uh, fruit, uh, like a pineapple, something for digestion uh, at night. Uh, the third one is uh, the quality of time uh, that I have to think of the things that uh, I can do to take care of myself. Um, I'm not committed to any other people. You know, we, uh, we don't have a job that we have to go to every day to try to make the people at our job or our customers comfortable or happy. We spend uh, a lot of time in our life uh, making sure everybody is taken care of and then we have very little time for ourselves uh, at the end of the day or the weekend you know we don't, we don't have much time so uh, I just think about you know I get up in the morning and I think about the things that what am I going to do today uh, let's see I might just go on a bike ride early um, I'm going to do some studying for I'm trying to learn Thai so I'm trying to I'm trying to educate my mind, uh, keep my mind busy. Um, you know, I'm going to work out. Uh, I'm going to make some kind of dish. Uh, I'm going to cook something. Uh, I'm just going to think about the things that I want to do that makes me happy. I might go get a two-hour uh, Thai massage today. I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but being able to uh, to direct your energy in a way to help you instead of helping everybody else, uh, which is very difficult to do most of the time, uh, is very healthy. Uh, number four is exercise. Um, you've got to exercise. You've got to do something to get the heart rate up. Um, right now, you know, I have a lot of time to do a lot of different exercises, but back back in the states you know I, I went to the gym in the morning um, but that was about it I didn't have time to do anything else during the day because I had to drive to work you know and I had to do all the I had to do all those things all day and then drive back home and was so tired I ate a big dinner and crashed and did it again the next day so uh, what I there's a lot of options in this town uh, in the morning time they have a Tai Chi for elderly people uh, they have aerobics at night Uh, there's bike riding clubs out here. Um, I have a mountain bike that I, ri I ride around the town uh, at least four times, a, I'm sorry, six times a day. One lap is five and a half kilometers. So I try to do it six times a day. Um, if I'm not doing something else, that's, you know, if I'm having a slow day, yeah, I'll ride six times a day. But what it does, it helps me get to know the community, and I like to talk, obviously, so I talk to, to many Thai people to practice my Thai language. Uh, it, 
makes me happy, makes them happy, and I get great exercise from it. But uh, I, I do some strength building about 45 minutes uh, every day. Um, I set myself up a program of lifting weights, and I, and I try to do that. Uh, I try to do it at least five days a week. Um, if I do more than that, I'm, I'm too achy. But um, yeah, and if you like hiking, there's a lot of hiking. Definitely in Thailand, a lot of walking. So that's not an issue. Um, a lot of people here uh, ride mopeds everywhere, you know. So, but there's bike riding, hiking, and swimming for sure. Lots of beautiful ocean. You can swim. You can take up scuba diving. Um, and all that stuff here, uh, which is in my future. Uh, the fifth thing is climate. It's very hot and warm and wet uh, in Thailand. So uh, you sweat a lot in Thailand um, and sweating is actually good for you. Uh, that's why a lot of people go to the sauna at the gym to release the toxins and then take a cold shower, you know, afterwards to, to rinse the toxins off of your body. But uh, sweat is good for you to get those toxins out. Um, but uh, I feel like I'm melting away. I have to take a shower at least three times a day and change my clothes, you know, as well. But uh, it's healthy for, for me, uh, I, and I think it's healthy for you also. But, um, uh, you know, all this being said about healthy uh, in Thailand, uh, me being healthy, Thai people right now are, are probably more obese than I've ever seen them uh, since I've been coming to Thailand. A lot of it, I think, has to do with easy access to mopeds and financing on mopeds. Everybody has a moped and they will ride their moped two houses down and then ride them back two houses down. They, they, uh, they extremely, uh, uh, how do I say that? Um, they're extreme creatures of habit, it seems, uh, Thai people. But, uh, they love to ride their mopeds. Uh, sometimes it's a fashion statement for them. Um, but if they can't afford one, you, it's not uncommon to see uh, three to five people squeezing on a moped riding around town uh, for sure. Uh, they like to drink a lot of coffee, uh, sweet coffee, iced coffee with a lot of cream and sugar. Uh, there is a lot more carbohydrates uh, now, breads, donuts, sweets, cakes, uh, cookies, a lot of that stuff here. They like to go sit down and drink coffee and uh, hang out and, and have a piece of, uh, some kind of piece of bread with their, with their breakfast or even during the day. But uh, I see now people that have gotten overweight are trying to get back on their bicycles and get back into shape. So I think they're realizing... Uh, uh, and I hear them complain all the time how fat they are. So uh, it's, it's not, like, not a norm. I know like in America, oh, being overweight has become the norm. It's just the accepted. Uh, you can call it what you want. It's still unhealthy and it does cause problems uh, in the future uh, with everything, with bones and joints and and uh, getting uh, diabetes and cancer and all kinds of things. So. Uh, at least they're trying to recognize it and do something about it. The, uh, the, every community usually has a lot of weights and stuff set, not set out for people, and they've got a lot of programs where they have, like I said, aerobics or tai chi or bike riding, uh, gang, uh, bike riding uh, gangs. <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll ride their bikes in packs, like from, from province to province to province, and uh, they get together and do this every weekend, but um, basically, uh, you know, you can have all the success in the world, you can have a lot of money, you can have all these things in life that really uh, you want and make you happy and feel like you deserve this because you work so hard for it, but if you don't have good health, uh, those things are really not important uh, without good health. Uh, there's some of the richest people in the world or you know are there they die every day from something you know and uh, they still get stuffed in the same size coffin as as anybody else so when it's over it's over so 
uh, if, if things make you happy and uh, being successful in a career, uh, then, then more power to you. Live your life the way that you want to and be happy. Uh, but you know, you need to be healthy too, for sure. Um, you just got to try to uh, recognize the cause of the reason that you're unhealthy and uh, try to figure out a plan to where you can control that and, and, and stay happy. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about those things because it kept being asked um, of how come I'm not 300 pounds. Uh, that's why in detail, uh, I, live a ha I live a happy, healthy, clean uh, life and I, and I, and I exercise. Live in an environment where I'm not I'm not stressed out. So yeah, if you like the channel uh, and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We are going to be making a whole lot of trips here again pretty soon. Um, we've got a lot of great information about Thailand. If you have any questions about traveling here or moving here, give me a shout. Um, Thanks for the, uh, also the new subscribers and all the comments, and uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Bye.